what's up and welcome back to my channel now today I'm going to be giving a review for the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 the secret of the ooze Roy's pizza box bundle now of course this is exclusive to like the San Diego Comic Con and uh, this is like the uh, Kano figure that we have here you know because we even have like an exclusive style packaging for the, uh, the figure too and I must admit I'm gonna touch on this I thought this was awesome how NECA did this like this Roy's pizza box bundle that was so cool. I think this is one of the best exclusive type of packagings I have ever seen from like a NECA like figure, you know. So of course, you know, this is based like on the uh, the second film in the series, which I do remember seeing in the theaters like two times, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I'm gonna get into this uh, right now. Now as you can see, this is the box that contains the San Diego Comic Con exclusive uh, Kino figure, which has a likeness of uh, Ernie Reyes Jr. too as well. But what I want to touch on too right quick is the actual uh, this uh, this is the box bundle that it came with. Now this is really so awesome the way NECA did this. <laughs> As you can see, of course, we got the piece of box that says Roy's Greenwich Village with a question that says convention exclusive. Then you see that down the turtles. Then it says NECA up there too as well. That's pretty cool. And this is what this particular set is really called. Kino with Scooter. That's what it's really called. As you can see, it has it right there on the side. Kino with the scooter. It has an image of the pizza. But one of the things that's cool about it, it has, this, it has like these other special things. And besides the figure that comes with this, like you have like the, uh, of course, the action figure. Cause you can see the stuff is checked off, like the action figure, the keychain, and there's also a shirt in here, and an employee of the month car and a magnet. So I was kind of surprised that NECA included all that kind of stuff. You know, that, that was really just cool. Besides just the other uh, figure. So I'm going to touch on this stuff right quick. That's in here. So you get like a... Uh, yeah, most stuff in This is pretty cool. You get like this uh, magnet right here, which has like... The scooter, uh -huh, it says Roy's Fast Delivery. This is like a magnet. So I think that's, that's pretty awesome. Then you also get like a keychain. I think this is really cool. Instead of us just getting like a figure from NECA, they give us all this. Then you get uh, the employee of the month uh -huh, with a candle on the front of it, right there, as you can see. That's pretty cool. You can say that the date, March 1991. That's pretty awesome. Yeah. Then you even get a shirt with this. That's something new for me from NECA. You even get like a Roy's uh, shirt. That must be that's That's pretty cool. Now, another thing I think is so really cool about that, all that stuff is like in on the box too. It shows you what, you, what you're getting, you know. You can see like it's marked off and, and you really do get that stuff. That's pretty cool. It was in the box, like the action figure, you know, the shirt, the keychain, everything's checked that you get. I think that's pretty cool. <laughs> this is the uh, actual Kino with the scooter right here, as you can see. You can see them on the inside with the scooter and accessories. They have an image of him with the turtles right there, even right here. On the side, we have an image of him. That's what this particular... Uh, Pieces called and there's images of him on the back with the, uh, the accessories too as well. And it do says what it's really called, Kino with Scooter. That says that uh, collect them all. It says this includes interchangeable head and hands, scooter, delivery bag, pizza box, and pizza slices. So that's pretty cool. Something to get into this uh, time right now. This where is the background that comes with the Kino figure. That is pretty cool. Uh -huh. Okay, there's the Kino figure from NECA. So I'm gonna do is measure him. And yep, he's like he's right at like seven inches, like right up under it. And again, the only way he was able to pick up this was at the uh, NECA San Diego Comic Con exclusive event because you had to order this, and I had got my order in. On the last day for this particular figure, because NECA gave us like three days to order it, and I got my order in on the last day, so I'm, I'm happy that I had successfully got the order on there for this particular figure. But yeah, I'm going to talk about the likeness of Ernie Rays Jr. 
and like the figure itself and like the articulation and of it and so on. So yeah, as you can see here he is. Now I think that's a uh, I guess a a, a good likeness to Ernie Rage Jr. I like his body portions and certain things looks right. The way his body is, I think that's pretty cool. The shirt is kind of like a like, like you know, like, kind of like I guess you could say filthy or whatever. Like from I guess you know being worn and stuff. So if, if you look closely, you can see all the spots and stuff on it. Like it's dirty. It says Roy's piece on it right there too as well. And he does have a uh, peg holes underneath. It feels like a uh, like light too. I like how light it feels. And I know Ernie was involved in this too as well. I know I saw like stuff about him, you know, to, uh, in the making of this. Okay, you can tilt down. He cut. He can't really look up and look like him, but he can like turn like you know left and right and so on. So that's pretty cool. That's his arms. They do go up to like right there. The articulation is good. He's like loose too. He's not stiff. Doesn't seem like it. Yeah, that's pretty cool. He has a bend in the knee, so you can bend his knee. The arms bend too. Let's see. So he does have good articulation, so you can bend his arm. He even kind of has like an ab crunch too, as well, as you can see. I think it's pretty cool. Hands can turn. Feet. And he does stand too. As you can see. So you can't get him like to stand. He doesn't really need to stand or anything. So I think that is awesome. I think I think it's a pretty awesome figure uh, from NECA. <laughs> next I want to move on through the accessories that come with the uh, NECA kennel figure. Up next this here is like his uh his scooter. Da I must admit this is pretty cool right here too as well. This is how the scooter looks. It also has like a uh, a kickstand like right here underneath. I wouldn't I'd be I'd be advised to be careful with that because it looks like that's the whole way it can stand. You know, because it doesn't like it like I said it'll fall. You would need the kickstand to stand it. So I just want to touch on that. But that's on where it stands. But yeah, this is how it looks. I think this is awesome having this too. We got like a vehicle that we can put Kino on. And as you can see, this can turn. It even has a really like rolling wheels too, as well. Like the wheels roll. It feels light too. I think that's pretty cool. And it feels light. So, of course, you know, you can like sit on this too, as, as well. Then I'll make sure you get this cool little accessory right too, as well. So I think this is a uh, pretty cool. This where is the uh, the box of the uh, piece that we're going, and it does say like roars like Greenwich Village, because you can even like open it, because you'll put the piece of bag like inside here. And as you can see, there's like these holes in the two, which I'll touch on with it as well. So I think that's a pretty cool accessory. That's awesome. Hey. Then you also get like the uh, the actual like a uh, Piece of bag, right? This is cool, huh? It even says like a uh, hot, hot on it too. It even has a receipt on it. Like, not could, not could put that much detail into this. Like you said, the receipt number. That's pretty cool. You can even open it up, cause when you open it on up, there's like a piece of on the inside. That's pretty cool. You got like, a piece of box. So you can take it out, and there's like a piece of Because uh, of course, you know, you can op open this on up too as well. And the turtles, they do like this box is smaller than the ones that come to turtles. And you can see like the piece is gone. <laughs> but I still think that's cool how you can see like the piece was in here, like the grease and all that, the sauce and all that from the pizza, you know. Yeah, it's pretty cool. Now, on the box it said that pizza slices would have been in this, but... It, w it wasn't though, so I don't know like if NECA had made that by error or something. On the box it says, NECA says that there are pieces slices included. So I don't know if NECA made that by error or something, you know. As you can see, you can put this piece back in here if you want, like in the bag. 
because it doesn't have any like slices with it so you can close it back up and it buttons back up and that's so awesome then if you want you know you can take this and of course you know you can put it inside here like that and it even closes up that looks good. that is pretty cool now another thing you get is like this uh this thing for like your scooter right here because what this does right here you would take this and if you look at the scooter it's a place on the back of the scooter like there's like these two holes right there you can see one right there like that, that white one right there well you know the white and there's one on the other side too because you would take this and stick it on this side because what you would do also with this with, with the scooter you said those three holes on it you could take them and you'll put them on like these uh these three things that's right here on the uh this thing right here. It'll, it'll, it'll attach to that so let's see if i can do it one thing i like about it, it doesn't seem like uh too fragile or anything you know you can read that you can see I pushed it on there so that's pretty cool i'm not sure if it's all the way in yeah you will need that kickstand from what i'm noticing <laughs> Then you would take uh, this, and then it would sit on here. And then when you're done, that's how it looks. And it sits on there too. It doesn't like it'll fall off. Probably if you turn it over, you know, it'll fall off. But that's how it looks. So that's pretty cool. That's awesome. Now I must admit, I, I was having kind of trouble getting them to stay out. Like it'll sit on it. As you can see, but like the kickstand, like it kind of like it folds up, and like the scooter will fall over. So it's kind of you know, I know it's kind of tricky to, uh, to get him to stay on it, especially with the piece of box. I think it's kind of like weighs it down too. But it, it still is like an awesome look, and you can display them like this on the scooter, or you can be around the scooter and so on. So I think it's done pretty well. It's like if you keep the wheels like straight, it, it'll stand up like the kickstand. Now I want to move on to like the last the accessories that come with the uh, the Kino figure. Right here we like a, uh, a alternate head scope for Kino as you can see. So it's pretty cool. So I think the likeness to Ernie Ridge Jr. is a uh, it's bit solid on this figure. Then you get a uh, four alternate hands, so Kino has like a total of like a uh, six hands all together. You have like a left and right. You can tell these are like a uh, I think gripping type hands. Then you get uh, two like fist hands, I guess like if he's like fighting or something like that. Two solid fist hands. <laughs> and now I want to compare the Kino figure with the uh, NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2 Secret of the Ooze uh, Turtles. <laughs> There's Kino with the uh, Ninja Turtles figures from uh, Secret of the Ooze, two awesome like figures like from NECA. Yeah, I would definitely recommend these if you're if you're a fan of the uh, special like Secret of the Ooze, like the second film, like in the series, like the original like, trilogy. I would definitely recommend these. These are some awesome figures. <laughs> and next up, I want to compare with the uh, Ultimate Shredder from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2. So as you can see, this is how he looks with uh, the Shredder. <laughs> awesome figure. Okay, that's the NECA Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, Roy's Pizza Box Bondo, and this is the uh, Kino with the scooter. Now, this is a San Diego Comic Con exclusive figure, so you was only able to pick this up like at the event, I believe, but also ordered online. Because NECA had this available online like on some of their other products for like three days, if I can remember correctly. Because I was trying to get it like on the first and second day, but it kept selling out on me, you know. So I couldn't get to it. But on the third day, I managed to get my pre-order in. I was like, whoa, I couldn't believe it, you know. And I was actually able to successfully get me an order in. I got one like on the last day of it, too, of the, uh, the uh, online event thing. I was always actually able to pick this on up. Because I know once they release this probably like, to stores, it won't have all this kind of stuff, you know. And so on. But I think this is an awesome figure, like the likeness to Ernie Ray's Jr. I think it's a pretty uh, solid on this figure. I think it looks like, you know, great, you know. So, yeah, it's a cool figure. And I like that it has, like, a nice amount of sensors. I like that we get the scooter with it, too, as well. It do, like, it's some issues with him on the scooter, though, you know, like, trying to get him pop right on it, you know, and so on. I know, like, the kickstand, and from what I'm noticing, you definitely need the kickstand for this scooter, too. So, you definitely about to break that off, because that's, like, that's the only, way, the only way you can hold it up, you know. But yeah, I think this is like an awesome figure. And again, this is based on the 
the movie Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles 2, The Secret of the Ooze, which I do remember seeing in the movie theaters like two times. I saw this one in the theaters, you know. <laughs> so yeah, I definitely recommend picking this one up. It's a solid figure, you know. Uh, please leave a comment and uh, subscribe too as well.